On to Hong Kong now, where it is another weekend of protests. Protesters in large numbers gathered to press for electoral reforms and a boycott of the Chinese Communist Party. The protesters were wearing the movement's trademark black clothing and face masks. Things took a violent turn as the demonstrators started a march towards the nearby Legislative Council building. The police had given approval for the rally, but not a march. Friction soon emerged as the police personnel blocked those participating in the march. The police resorted to using a heavy hand on the protesters. Batons were used and tear gas fired as the police tried to clamp down on the protesters. The protest movement in Hong Kong started in June over a controversial extradition bill, but it soon transformed into a bigger movement against Beijing's authority. The bill has now been withdrawn. Protests continue, though. Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, has recently said that the territory enjoys great freedoms under the one country, two systems formula. She said the system and the freedoms which come with it could continue if, the Hong, if Hong Kong upheld its loyalty to Beijing. Lam's comments have been seen as an appeal to those who see China as tightening its control over the semi-autonomous territory.